Hi, it's Katrina. From lakes with paranormal activity to animals with incredible camouflage abilities, here are eight things in nature that look a little too much like eyes. Number eight, floating eye island. In the Parana Delta of northeastern Argentina, there appears to be some kind of strange circular island that is shaped just like an eye, and it appears to be moving. In 2016, filmmaker and supernatural enthusiast Sergio Neus Pillet was in Argentina looking for locations to help film a science fiction movie he was planning. When he surveyed the territory with a plane and looked down, he spotted the circular watery hole with a rotating floating island on top. Sometimes it looks like an eye, and sometimes it looks like a crescent moon as it moves throughout the day. If you look at Google Earth, you can find the so-called eye for yourself. It's kind of creepy and looks almost as if someone made it. At around 387 feet long, the structure itself forms a nearly perfect circle, and it's surrounded by a circular stream of water in a swampy marsh. Neus Biet and other filmmakers started a Kickstarter campaign to help fund an investigation into the mysterious place. There are rumors of the place being quite strange, with sightings of UFOs and supernatural stories and paranormal aspects of the spooky swamp. However, one Daniel Roy Finkley has provided his own explanation, and it's not paranormal or extraterrestrial. He claims that there are a bunch of structures like this around the Argentinian coast. These could be ice disks, which are formed when water flows against the side of a giant block of ice, rotating them and eroding them significantly. This process in turn generates a nearly perfect circle. Interestingly, ice disks around the world are often related to supernatural phenomena. Floating islands with plants are pretty rare, but to find out more, I guess you'll just have to wait for the Kickstarter campaign to take off. Number 7. River Satina Deep inside of the Croatian countryside, there is a river known as the River Satina, whose reservoir looks just like an eye when you peek at it from above. This reservoir is actually where Satina begins, and it's located very close to a town with the same name in southern Croatia. But once it gets going, it flows for quite a long time. In fact, the river runs for some 63 miles total, after which it spits out into the Adriatic Sea. It has one of the largest amounts of water out of any river in the region. But the source itself is fascinating on its own terms. Why does it look like an eye from above, with a pupil in the middle surrounded by a generally greenish-blue hue? That's because the center of this reservoir of water is actually super deep. It extends about 490 feet into the ground. So when you're looking into the eye of this river, you're actually looking incredibly far into the earth. The River Satina has served a number of purposes throughout Croatian history. For one thing, it's been an incredible boon for local agriculture, where the power it generated helped out various mills and hydropower centers. And in modern times, it's served as something of a tourist attraction. Many people travel to Satina in order to canoe and raft through the river. Plus, the area surrounding the river is just plain beautiful. So if you're ever in the area, make sure to check it out and send me a picture while you're at it. Remember to tag me in any fun photos at Katrina Explained on Instagram, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Number 6. Longan Have you ever eaten longan? I haven't. I honestly had never even heard of it until now. It's an edible juicy fruit related to the lychee. While they may taste delicious, at first glance when you look at the inside, they look a little creepy, right? I mean, they look a lot like a complete eyeball. That's why it's named longan, actually. Its literal translation in Cantonese is dragon eye. Does it look like a dragon eyeball to you? Most researchers think that longan originally grew somewhere between Myanmar and China, although there are records of its existence all over different parts of Asia. Apparently, even though it looks like an eyeball, it thankfully doesn't taste much like one. Not that I would know, but I can guess. Instead, people claim that it's tart, but it is also sweet and a little bit musky. It apparently is a really good source of vitamin C. However, it has a pretty high sugar content, so you might want to stay back if you're a diabetic. Texturally, people say it's pretty close to a grape, but it has a bit of a chew to it. If you've ever had a lychee, it's pretty close to that, even if it's a little more low-key. Have you ever tasted longan? Let me know if I should try it in the comments, if I can even figure out where to get it. Number 5. The Eye of God have you ever seen these pictures that seem to depict a giant galactic eye floating in the middle of space? 
They're pretty popular. They've been termed as the Eye of God due to their beauty. As it turns out, this eye is actually a picture that the Hubble Space Telescope captured of the Helix Nebula. It's located pretty close by in galactic terms. It's about 700 light years away inside of the Aquarius constellation. Many scientists think that it's the most nearby nebula to Earth. But what's a nebula in the first place? A planetary nebula is formed whenever red giant stars start to eject a ton of charged gas into space, forming incredible light shows. In fact, something like this is going to happen to our own sun a very, very long time into the future when it sheds its outer skin later in life. Weirdly enough, scientists think that the Helix Nebula is actually a cylinder and that we're seeing it directly in the middle. The pupil is the star itself. They also think that it's around 10,600 years old. Scientists have developed crazy telescopic techniques to look closer into the nebula's operation. They've been able to find around 20,000 cometary knots inside of it, which are strange structures that form inside of planetary nebulae. There's clearly still a lot of information hiding inside of the Helix Nebula, and the more technology we have, the more we will be able to learn about it. Could the eye shape point to something deeper? We'll just have to keep watching. Number 4. Carid Crater Lake From above, the Carid Crater Lake looks like a bright blue pupil surrounded by a beautiful red landscape. But this lake, located within a volcanic caldera in Iceland, is way more interesting than even its appearance from above would lead you to think. A caldera is a sinkhole-like area that is formed whenever magma explodes from a volcano, leaving a giant space below the ground completely open for whatever takes over first, whether that's rock or water. However, the Carid Crater Lake didn't come into being because of an explosion, but because the magma below the ground just ran out. When that happened, the land caved in on itself, revealing a colorful palette of Earth from the top of the caldera to its bottom. The lake itself is a lovely bright blue, but much of the surrounding land landscape is peppered with beautiful reds and yellowish greens. The red tint comes from the fact that it's volcanic. Then when winter comes, it dazzles anyone who cares to make the trek. The entire lake in the crater freezes, turning into a sort of makeshift ice rink, if you're brave enough to both travel there and skate on it. You can go see this location for a small fee. If you decide to take a tour of Iceland's Golden Circle, one of Iceland's most famous tourism routes, then this should definitely be on your list. Why not? Have you ever been to Iceland? Do you want to go? Let me know in the comments below. Number 3. Eye Spot Camouflage Tons of animals use fake spots on their bodies that look like eyes in order to protect themselves and to attract mates. It is a fascinating evolutionary trick that many animals use to their advantage. Some eye spots help to make predators think that their prey is much bigger than they expected. Others serve to confuse other animals. For example, if a predator thinks that it's biting something's head, but instead it's only getting its tail, that gives the prey a second to get away. For example, the male Australian peacock spider has bright eye spots on its abdomen that help it to attract a mate while it does its elaborate mating dance that involves some disco and some shaking and flapping. The yellow-lipped sea crate has developed a way to trick predators into thinking that its head is located on its tail. This is because the coloration of its tail is similar to the coloration on its head. So when the snake puts its actual head into coral reefs in search of food, its tail, which looks like its head, is still moving around. The hawksmoth caterpillar will pretend to be a snake and puff up the front of their bodies to show off huge spots that look like eyes, along with fake scales and a snake-like curve. They will even pretend to strike. Butterflies will often have eye spots on their wings too. They vary in size and brightness in order to disorient predators. Dr. Martin Stevens at the University of Exeter, UK, says that eye spots have attracted a substantial amount of experimental work, but there is still a great deal left to understand about them. There are eyes everywhere in nature. Which is your favorite example of eyes on animals? Let me know in the comments below. Number 2. Eye of the Sahara Take a look at this picture that one member of Expedition 59 on the International Space Station took of the Richat structure from around 255 miles in the sky. When you look at it, you'll find it's no wonder that this magnificent feature of the Earth's landscape is often referred to as the Eye of the Sahara. It looks exactly like a bullseye from the sky. Located in northwestern Mauritania, it's a little over 24 miles long. What's more, it tells a pretty complex geological story. Not many people knew about the Eye of the Sahara before astronauts saw it, and when it was first spotted, they thought that it was an impact crater, perhaps from an asteroid directly from space. But it was a natural formation on Earth, and most geologists now refer to the Eye of the Sahara as a domed anticline. 
The circular feature was caused by an uplifted dome raised by underground volcanic movement millions of years ago. Winds pushed sandstone rocks on top of everything, and eventually the magma underground erupted upwards, sending the sandstone flying away. After this, the slow process of erosion took hold, going through the various rocky layers and generating the eye. Because of its circular shape, many people are anxious to know if this place is perhaps the lost city of Atlantis, famous for its supposed rings. However, while fantasy of finding Atlantis sounds really amazing, the reality is that the eye was left behind when the supercontinent Pangaea began to pull apart and is a very unique geological wonder. Number 1. Great Red Spot Ever been curious about what's going on with that big red spot on the surface of Jupiter? It looks kind of like an eye, doesn't it? Well, look no further because I'm here to tell you a little bit about the gigantic cosmic storm that's been occurring on Jupiter for at least the past 360 years, probably more. Scientists refer to this big storm as Jupiter's Great Red Spot, and it's undoubtedly the largest and longest storm in the solar system. For one thing, you can't miss it. Jupiter's the biggest planet in the solar system, and the Great Red Spot is itself about 12,400 miles long and 7,500 miles high. This makes it about three times bigger than our planet. Scientists have also estimated that it carries winds of up to 425 miles per hour. For years, it's eluded scientists as to how this storm has kept going. Usually, vortices like this burn off steam after a few decades, but it seems that the Great Red Spot has kept spinning ever since it was first recorded in 1665. Scientists now think that this vortex keeps going because of so-called vertical flows, which send warm and cool gases into and out of the storm, which keep the vortex's energy high. This means that all vortices may last for much longer than we'd ever previously thought. However, this doesn't completely make sense for the Great Red Spot. Perhaps it's continued to suck up smaller vortex storms over its lifespan. It's definitely one of the most interesting features of our solar system. Thanks for watching! What's your favorite thing that looks like an eye? Any other things to add to this list? Let me know in the comments below! And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already! See you next time! Bye!